it's finally time to talk about my MR2. Well, which one? I'll probably start with the third one because I had three MR2s at one point in time. Uh, one MR2 was uh, just a, a regular turbocharged uh, 92 MR2, white. And then the next one was uh, same thing, a 92 MR2 with a third gen uh, 3SG GTE from, from Japan, Japan spec, uh, which was about 245 horsepower, horsepower uh, motor swap for that one. And then the third one is the one that I'm going to be spending time talking about in this video, which is my um, custom wide body yellow MR2, which was a project that I started um, a while back. Really, this MR2 is the car that I've kept the longest out of any other cars that I've had, I would say, for about 20 years, I'd say. So yeah, so I've had that car for quite some time, and the main purpose of the third MR2 was specifically because I wanted to create that wide body. So many plans, so many concepts in my head um, before and while I was, you know, doing this car. Some some things worked out well. Some things didn't work out so well. Some things were very frustrating. So I want to just kind of start talking about that here on this episode because there, there's so many things to say about my MR2 and I kind of don't know where to begin, but I'm just gonna try to start from the beginning and um, go from there. When I purchased that that third MR2, if you will, I I still I was still driving my my green Del Sol, okay, and it was nice. It was still new at that time, 17-inch um, racing heart wheels. It was nice, you know. It was like kind of a daily driver. I remember when I went to the uh, the previous owner of this. It was it was a it was previously a black MR2. And I went up to him and before I purchased his car, he saw my car. So why are you buying my car when, when you already have a nice car? And I said, well, because I have some really big plans for this MR2. Purchased the MR2 and right away start, start, you know, taking it to the shops, start 
trying to add all these um, fabrications to it. So I think my fascination with MR2s started way back in the days when I was still hanging out with all my friends and you know a few of them had the MR2 and I always thought that they were they were just amazing cars and that's probably why I ended up having three in the first place right I just couldn't get enough of the MR2s and then in my mind I think the inspiration was the whole TRD MR2 back when I was looking at those Japanese magazines, I remembered seeing the TRD wide body. This happened as part of the whole Y2K thing, I think, 2008. That whole idea that Armageddon idea, that everything was just going to stop working. And so once Y2K passed, I think part of the celebration in my mind was to actually start building this uh, wide body MR2. Yeah. Too. I can get up to the back. The whole front end can scrape. Yeah. So the front doesn't scrape completely. Well, it doesn't scrape, period. But. Uh, so, just going from there. Alright, so let me just have you sign it just in case the driveway cracks when I blink. Uh, how does it crack, you mean? I mean does it it's just the truck's heavy. We had one heavy. out there uh, in uh, Huntington it? Beach. Yeah. We put our truck on the member's driveway. Yeah. I don't know, any little crack, whatever, they complain and we got to buy them a whole new... Uh, oh, really? Are you filming? Well, yeah, I'm filming the... I always film it when I, when I have my car totally. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because think about this. Back when I finally got my car finished for the shows, this was a time frame where um, the shows for the tuner circuit or the JDM circuit was was really big. It was really a big deal, you know. And, and at that time too, people were just spending, investing. Uh, people were investing a lot of money on modifying their cars. You know, you have all these crazy fabricators. You had all these crazy builds, creative, um, custom work. And that's what I did, you know. So I was one of those guys that, that at that time frame really, really was into trying to be innovative and trying to add things to, to my car to make it stand out. It, it was a crazy time. I would say that was a time when the high time for, for tuners with the early 2000s, when, when all the car shows were, were high and the shops and, and the fabricators and everything were, were just spending a whole lot investing everything they had and then of course the the crisis came the uh, economic crisis hit in 08 and then all that stopped right and it kind of died down for a few years until until the FRS came out right in 2013 so that's sort of what happened you, know, you might end up getting a well hopefully you're gonna have to wait for another one This uh, custom wide body MR2 was a dedicated show car. So from the get go, once I purchased this car, I already thought that everything 
that was going to be added was going to be for the purpose of making a complete show car. So from from the the bodywork to the interior to the engine and everything, it wasn't going to be something that I was going to drive on a daily or even a weekly basis, right? I was just going to take it to the shows and um, start winning. All the the concepts, all the ideas, and then all the the modifications that I executed for the MR2 was all based on the fact that that this was a, a dedicated show car, and so I added all these modifications. Um, you know, again, the the I, I finally got the uh, custom wide body done. Everything was sort of um, customized. You know, and then the interior, of course, right? I'm not just talking about custom interior or custom gauge pods and, you know, trying to fit a 10-inch monitor in, in there, but I'm talking about the surveillance system and the uh, multimedia system that I had installed, which also took a lot of work in it by itself. There's a lot of things there, the custom wheels, the, the intercooler trunk in the back. That was really an idea that I wanted to create. And now you see a lot of it. Uh, rear trunk intercoolers but mine really had sort of a, a special design and function to it which I will be explaining in the later episodes <laughs> So overall, that took those major mods or custom work really took close to three and a half to four years. And if I had to do it all over again, I obviously, I don't think I would, you know, to be honest with you. But, you know, it is what it is. And when I finally got those major mods done, I started going to the shows and started winning first place trophies and so on and then just kind of it kind of just took off it kind of had a life of its own I've had all these uh, car clubs car crews hitting me up they all wanted me to be part of their their group you know I'm gonna go into detail about these these uh, main modifications in, in future episodes just so I can sort of get into it a little bit more and 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 of course, feature more videos and photos instead of just trying to lump it all in in this in this uh, introduction or in this uh, part one of of my my MR2. Yeah, so I'm getting this car towed. Go to the shop right now, and uh, yeah, you know, get this car going. It's just been sitting around here. Working too much on the FRS, and now I gotta work on the, you know, the MR2, see what happens, and uh, hopefully I can get this thing running. You know, take it to the beats, and uh, it's just been sitting here in the garage. Alright, I'm gonna go. Keep building.